pixel piece. What a game to play. No, wait, you, you can't even play the game. Now, if you already didn't know, Pixel Peace is currently in a chaotic state where everything is unorganized, bugs and glitches are found everywhere in the game. So let me go ahead and lend you a helping hand and get you through the events that unfolded, plus my thoughts on the current situation. So at the start of update one, when they started the maintenance, we were all proposed with great content and engaging bosses like Arlong and Seabees through hype sneaks, leaks, videos, and more created by content creators. But like many people who saw what happened during the first release of this game with all the bugs and unbalanced changes like storing data being an issue and the loss of double fruits and stats being foundly present we were all hoping for this update to be delivered with quality and not so much perfection but more so passable content that's playable and this ended up being a disappointment during the post of the update logs and as you can see right here these are the logs now look closely into it what will you notice well there isn't much content that could keep you engaged you could say that the sea beasts are going to take up most of your time because you need their drops to get the new items but that's exactly my point there isn't much after sea beasts that's worth putting in effort and time to achieve well then you could also say that well, what, what about fishman karate isn't that great well that's a whole different story because you'll see here in a bit but still though many people had their hopes high and gave them a chance all right the developer team ended up delaying the up update for the next day which was a huge blow onto the community because of course we were waiting for this for quite a bit now ever since they released the date for it and you know releasing dates is pretty much putting a deadline and pushing it back will definitely bring back criticism which is what happened and this was a reoccurring issue ever since the first release date so hopefully in the future this isn't going to be the issue but as of right now it is and sign out later on i'll be talking about the problems fixes and add-ons that they should implement into the game but now you know the background of what basically happened and how the update logs weren't full of content and how it was badly delivered and how they delayed it for quite a few days not quite a few one day my bad let me go ahead and give you my thoughts on the current situation so as of now the current state of the game isn't in the standards or quality that they hoped for or should i say what they anticipated with the lack of testing leading to large quantities of bugs and glitches it creates a poor environment for any player in the game including myself and other brainless grinding players we should say something, right? So let me name off a few bugs that was in the game. So first of all, Fishman Karate costed 990,000 belly to obtain, which they ended up removing from the game. They're fixing it right now. There was also an infinite raise reroll glitch, which it might still be in the game at this time. Kiribachi, once you got it from Arlong, it has zero cooldown, so you could infinitely spam the pull in infinite combo. Kiribachi is also currently not usable in rank PvP in terms of using its skills so if you fight somebody with Kiribachi they won't be able to pull you they won't be able to spin they won't be able to smash they are handicapped they are disabled now sea beast weren't also attacking players on the release of the update so they just stood there like a p doing jack shit. sea beast also barely had any hp so a group of five people could have killed it in about a minute which is impressive also on central island the sea beast tracker was unclickable known as unbiased so many people did not know how to get to the sea beast island at that point and if you were currently fighting the sea beast on the first release of update one you could have got glitched and it would have prevented you from attacking it at all which would have eventually made you reset or leave the game a very annoying bug another bug was that arlong was moonwalking he was literally moonwalking he, he was fighting back still but he kept getting pulled to like a magnetic field and then he kept dying resetting him over and over and over again that was really annoying and and also the level cap was not increased to 300 so anybody who grinded on the first release did not get any levels they have to restart all over again and then finally for some of the bugs that was currently in the game the marine and pirate system wasn't completed and you couldn't really talk to the recruiters so you couldn't even join a group and i will say that the marine and pirate system should have been added to the game a long time ago like maybe on the first release like how arlong should have been added because shark island was already there but this is not even mentioning the multitude of promises that they were going to add 
air quotes to the game but ended up scrapping or working on for the next hours days or unforeseeable future things like the moveset for charlie cutlass cosmetic vanity the r long items even though there's basically only one item unless i'm wrong there and then the new island which ended up being just the sea beast raid arena really annoying and then like i said previously the so-called finished marine pirate system and many more so with all that being said let me go ahead and go over some fixes and add-ons that they should do so some fixes is that of course they should add the promised fishman karate they should add the promised charlie cutlass skill set so for those who want to use charlie cutlass instead of just like you know kiribachi in one sword style they have more of a variety and then they should continue fixing bugs of course and finish the marine and pirate system because people will want to hunt other people down now some things that they should add is moving arlong to a bigger location to have a more of an open space to fight because the current situation that arlong's in you could get knocked into the water arlong could get knocked into the water and then he gets resetted arlong does just ha has no space to you could basically infinite combo in a corner. It just isn't really the correct area for a boss to be at, if you get what I'm saying. They also need to give Arlong more damage because he's not a threat in the game. They need to make him a threat. He's the current boss besides the Sea Beast that's on the top of the food chain. And he only does 9 damage per swing. 9 damage. Buggy does more damage than him. They also need to allow Arlong to drop more items than just his sword. So maybe they could drop, drop his hat. Or maybe they could even drop his tooth gum weapon. I also wish they made it's so that sea beasts are encounterable through like the actual sea because that's what the sea beasts are supposed to be it would make them better generally and make them more canon because of course in the anime and in the manga sea beasts are there to protect their territory sea beasts are there to be aggro they're there to attack you if you're near them so why would they be on this tiny island why can't you just encounter them in the ocean while boating it would be much more funner much more engaging much more threatening that way they should also give the sea beast more movesets because Currently, the Sea Beast only has a roar that happens every other 10 seconds. They should give him like a water beam or like a biting attack if they don't even move him. Something that gives it a threatening factor. Because all these bosses, all you have to do is sit down and M1 combo them. That's really it. They should also give the Sea Beast a higher drop rate. Like change it from 1 to 3 tooths to maybe 1 through 5. Because getting 50 through 70 teeth is very tedious. Plus, there's no spawn setter there. And you have to boat around 2,500 meters and that's just crazy or to make this a little bit, bit better they can maybe even add a new boat for traveling or buff the current ones they could even add a new island like they promised instead of just saying sea beast and island they could have just said sea beast island but they said sea beast and island so a lot of people were hoping for a new island to grind on which is the move that they should have went for because of course grinding on the same island as the release to get up to the new cap is kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie to you it just gets boring at that point and of course another one off my head is complete the sea be set by adding the armor all right you know, why, why just have a mask and a sword add the armor as well now these are just a few ideas off the top of my head like i said and many of you may agree or disagree but you cannot deny the fact that the developers need to put more time into adding more meaningful updates now before you say anything i will end it off by saying this all right everyone who has played the game including myself will give them more chances and time to prove themselves because of the quality that's already presented especially through the game's aesthetic they just need to to have a better testing team to provide information and warnings for bugs a better grasp on the community so they could engage with them more often ask them questions even if it's tedious and ask them what they want but most importantly they need to take their time with these updates and not to rush anything out because of peer pressure or the lack of players in the game because that's insignificant over time this won't be the case because as long as they're consistent and reliable with update releases those players will come back every single time but with all this said what do you think all right, leave your thoughts in the comments below. That's just my thoughts. Peace.